Number 66. The triple point of air-free water is defined as 273.16 Kelvin. Why is it important that the water be free of air? Okay, this can be explained by looking at this picture right here. Now we're going to assume that this uh, picture is for water, right? Water can exist in a solid form, can exist in a liquid form, and a gas. And this is the correlation between what state water will be in, or I shouldn't say water because uh, if you say water, it's generally known as a liquid. So maybe I'll just say H2O, right? Uh, but if we manipulate the pressure values and if we manipulate the temperature values, that determines if H2O is going to be in its solid form, the liquid form, or the gas form. Now just know that a triple point, by definition, is where your solid, your liquid, and your gas all meet. It is the, it is the pressure and the corresponding temperature. So it's the pressure and temperature in which your solid, liquid, and gas will all meet. So these three colorings have to meet at a single point. And generally speaking, it would be right here. Now, don't pay attention to this like blue, you know, the whatever this is, gray or purple or what color is this? I don't even know. Blue, gray, purple? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> um, but these dots are just trying to show you that there's a change in temperature, which may change the triple point. But if we did not have a solution, technically all of this would be part of the solid. All of this part would be still part of the gas. And the triple point is where those three, solid, liquid, and gas, all meet. So this is the normal triple point. And they're saying that, you know, the temperature for water at this triple point, so if I bring this all the way down, if this was water's curve, this would be 273.16 Kelvin. But now, if we're saying that the triple point of air-free water is going to be defined as 273.16 Kelvin, why can't that water be free of air? Well, now... If we're saying that we have air-free water, that means that water is the only component. And if it's only the component, we call that pure. So this would be pure water. However, now, if you're starting to mix air with water, what are you making? You're putting molecules into your, uh, you know, liquid media or, you know, uh, solvent. So you would form a solution. This is not pure anymore. If you're forming a solution, the water is not pure. And you're adding solutes. The air would be the solute, adding it into your solvent, which is your water right? I mean, there's tons of molecules in the air. Most specifically is O2, what we breathe, right? There's O2 that we breathe in. Majority of air is, is classified as nitrogen gas, N2. So there's O2, there's N2. Uh, there's more gases in there as well. But it just shows you that now you're, you're making a solution. And what's going to happen is they're depicting it in this picture as these little molecules. You're starting to add molecules into the water. And what's going to happen is all of your points are going to start changing because your triple point is going to shift. In this case now, it's going to be here where those three colors meet, the green, the, I guess, tan, and the uh, purple or blue or whatever you want to call that color. <laughs> but um, if you're now having a solution, that means that you're adding 
um, air, which is the solute, into the water. And because now your vapor pressures, the y-axis, the pressures are going to change. It actually will decrease because you now have pressures coming in with your air. Keep in mind that you're only allowed to have 100%, right? A solution is the 100%. So if you had pure H2O, that was 100%. But now since you're mixing water with air, your percentage of water comparatively to what it was before is going to drop. And if that is going to drop, your vapor pressure is also going to change. And because the pressure is going to change, the pressure drops, as you can see here. Now, uh, it will decrease. And if the pressure decreases, that temperature will decrease. And you won't have the same temperature. The triple point will be way off. And that's where you get freezing point depressions, you have boiling point elevations, because the whole uh, switch of the curve, you know, it shifts. So this is your triple point. Whoop. Triple point of solution. And that's why that water needs to be free of air. If the air is in here, you're changing your mole fractions, the vapor pressure is going to change, and with the drop in pressure is going to lead to a decrease in the temperature. And that's basically it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in future lessons. Take care, and stay healthy, stay safe, and I'm rooting for you on your test and quizzes, okay? Keep learning, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.